Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold the rest many years ago to this weirdo art collector. Okay. Aha. So, tell me about Lily's art. It used to be about cheerful things. Landscapes, animals, bright colors. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things. Death and decay. And the last few pieces looked like something out of a nightmare. That's awful. Did Lily ever get any recognition for her art? Not really. Except from the guy I told you about who bought most of her paintings. Tell me about this art collector person. Rich, fancy looking, in his 50s or thereabouts. I'd say he'd be around 70 now if he's still alive. Oh, Charles Wade, maybe? He knocked on that door one day with a wad of cash in his hand. Five thousand dollars he wanted everything that lily so much as touched with a brush huh did he say why nope but i got the feeling that most of that dough was paid so he could avoid any questions i took the money i still had nathan to support did the stranger give you his name no well his face was far from forgettable though big nose bright Mm -hmm. blue eyes looked black irish he had a thick black mane turning gray no beard All right, Sue. Thanks. Let's see. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather? Brad said that maybe she painted a killing. And he wanted a painting. The guy who killed her was red. Hmm. (laughs) That could be. Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Figured it all out. (laughs) Yep, that's it. We don't need to play the rest of the game now. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. Oh. How long? A week, maybe, at the most. Hmm. I don't need to ask. Mind telling me what Lily was like, Sue? I'd be happy to. She was Nathan's older sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up, normal, happy, talking about school, boys, and whatnot. And she and Nathan were close back then, always playing together in the woods. When Lily was ten, she started drawing, always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. We didn't have much, really, and so she used what she could. Once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. (laughs) On her twelfth birthday, we gave Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, her art teacher at school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no. This was something different. She started going out, disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to do that. I tried everything. Counseling, support groups, antidepressants, nothing worked. About a year later, she just gave up and, well, you know the rest. I'm sorry, Sue. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I've learned to live with it. I don't need to ask her. Does the name Charles Wade mean anything to you? Oh, he's some big-time businessman, ain't he? Yeah, he owns a large company. That about sums up what I know about the fella. What do you do to support the two of you? (laughs) Uh, A little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? You could say he didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. He got himself a death wish after what happened to her started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now. Been there for 15. Man, that must be rough for you. Oh, we're doing just fine without him. Aren't we, Nate? Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. Well, is there anything we Mm. should show her? Maybe uh, Maybe the newspaper clipping? 
Yeah. I'd rather just ask her about her daughter directly. Ah. We suddenly stood up for some reason. <clears throat> hey, Sue, do you recognize any of these men? Well, there's Joseph Rain. <sighs> Always so handsome. I had such a crush on him back in the day. And... No way. That's him. Huh? The man who bought the paintings. He's always uh -huh. much younger here, but there's no mistake in that hair and nose. Are you sure? I'm positive, little cat. That's the guy who walked into this cabin with five grand in cash. That's very helpful, Sue. Thanks. Ugh. Another question for the elusive Mr. Wade. Yep. Charles Wade. Dum, dum, dum. Uh, no reason to suppose picture. She probably doesn't care about a math book. No reason. Police report. What do you think about this church? church? <laughs> it's a good church. I go there from time to time. I bring Nate too when that boy needs the fear of God put into him. All right. Well. Yeah. Do you know what this key opens? Well, that's a bit of a weird question, ain't it? <laughs> but no. <laughs> oh well. Well, I think, I think I'm going to head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back any time. I think that might be a good place to save it for tonight. Sounds good. Let's see. Uh, Lily Myers House. Yes, well, next time we shall have to continue and see if we can find a new lead, because we... Seem to be a little low on leads, but I suppose we, we do yeah. have some new options that we haven't talked to Grandma or the police yet. We could always go back and talk to Grandma, go back and talk to Lenny about some of these new items. See if we can figure out any of those any of those uh, details. Track down this Mr. Wade. Yes, clearly Charles Wade is at the center of this whole mystery. All righty. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.